let's quickly revise stage wise management of cervical cancer first of all what are the investigations recommended by figo it has been revised again in 2018 but initially what was only included in the figo classification was that you can do a colposcopy a colonization endocervical curettage you can do a hysteroscopy you can do a cystoscopy to diagnose the cervical cancer you can take a biopsy later on to uh, check what is the kind of cervical cancer the biopsy has to be taken from the periphery because in the center generally there is necrotic material so this is a very important MCQ question when you're doing a cervical cancer biopsy do it from the periphery and include a big chunk of stroma so that the stromal invasion can be checked these were the investigations and examination procedures that are that were being included in the FIGO classification the staging and the classification of cervical cancer apart from this lymph node palpation chest x-ray skeletal x-ray barium uh, enema and proctoscopy were included in the FIGO staging of cervical cancer. In 2018, certain other ancillary investigations were added on. Ultrasound was added on, MRI, CT scan, PET scan and lymphangiography were added on. MRI was used to assess the parametrial and the other tissue involvement in tumors more than 1 cm in size. If it was a barrel shaped cervical cancer, then cystoscopy was recommended because it can grow into the bladder. Initially, it was only proctoscopy but now they have included sigmoidoscopy also in the FIGO cancer staging. Now coming to the stage wise management. I am not discussing the stage with you because you have to be very very thorough with the cervical cancer staging. Stage 1A is microscopic when the stromal invasion is less than 5 mm. In 1A1 when the stromal invasion is less than 3 mm with no lymph vascular space involvement then you simply go for conization or simple trachelectomy and no lymphadenectomy. In A1 when it is LVSI positive then you go for a radical trachelectomy and if you are doing a conization then you have to do a lymphadenectomy also. In 1A2, when the stromal invasion is up to 5 mm, you have to go for a radical trachelectomy. Along with that, you may do a type 2 or type 3 hysterectomy, never type 1 here. Pelvic and parotid lymph node dissection has to be done beyond stage 1A1. So, it is only 1A1 when it is LVSI negative, when you do not do a lymphadenectomy. After stage 1A, when it goes to B, it becomes a macroscopic tumor. You all know that. It is B1, B2 and B3. In B1, when the tumor size is less than 2 cm, you go for a type 3 hysterectomy, that is all. And a lymph node dissection, you do not have to give radiotherapy. After B1, once the tumor goes beyond 2 cm, between 2 to 4 cm, it is B2, right? B2 and 2A1, when it is not involving the parametrum, you go for a type 2 hysterectomy along with lymphadenectomy along with radiotherapy. Once it has become B3 means it has gone beyond 4 cm or it has become 2A2 means again it is more than 4 cm still not involving the parametrum. You cannot operate the patient. Once the tumor size is more than 4 cm just go for a chemo radiation or simply radiotherapy. Once the patient has had parametrial involvement means she has crossed 2A2 now she is in 2B and beyond then only palliative treatment has to be given and chemo radiation can be given combined therapies. Chemo radiation like cisplatin can be added to the radiotherapy because all stages of cervical cancer are radiosensitive. If we add cisplatin, it becomes even more uh, sensitive to radiotherapy. So, remember stage 1A1, no lymph node dissection. Stage 1A, when it is microscopic, you do not do any radiotherapy. Beyond that, you have to give radiotherapy. No surgery is recommended once the tumor size is more than 4 cm or if the tumor has already entered the parameter. Radical trachelectomy is only done when the tumor size is less than 2 cm. So, this is a nutshell of how we manage a cervical cancer patient. Radiotherapy can also be external beam radiotherapy or intracavitary radiotherapy. Point A and point B are very important. Do read it. Thank you very much.